Hello and welcome back and I want to continue talking about the new Synologies that were featured at Synology's UK launch event for Synology 2019. And I want to talk about a brand new 4 bay the DS1419DVA. Now, what is it? There aren't a lot of details on it at this time, but what I can tell you is this. One, this 4 bay device seems to be heavily optimized to support the brand new surveillance applications that Synology are putting out there, namely involving deep video analytics. That's what the DVA is. This 4 bay NAS device that's got four LAN on the rear, and a USB um, 3 port on the front there, and there's no mention of HDMI at this time, or indeed the CPU or the memory, but this device has got an NVIDIA GeForce GPU. Once again, I haven't mentioned too much if it's an embedded or a graphics card, I'm inclining towards the latter. Now, what this is for is to support this brand new system of surveillance. Now, Synology are pretty proud of Surveillance Station 8.2, and they should be. It's had loads of features and functionality. Indeed, the latest version that just came out of beta has got some great recognition tools, some great live stream tools, the ability to repurpose mobile phones for different things, and different ways to interact with your recordings with faster time lapse and accelerated playback. But what they've got now is this deep video analytics. And what this is, and hopefully the graphics are on the screen, is smart. Um, surveillance for, uh, recordings. Now this does apply the majority of this to both live view, so when other things are being recorded right now to give you alerts, and when going through archive recordings. Um, there was lots of examples of how the system was doing more than just studying motion, light, and the usual things like heat. What it was, was the, a system that was smart enough to tell the difference between things. Now, for those that have followed Synology moments, you'll know that Synology have already looked a lot into deep learning with things like facial recognition and um, subject analysis and identifying different kind of items that are in a, in a photo. But what they've done is they've extended this logic into surveillance. So case in point, the first example they showed us was two cameras. One was a, uh, a normal static surveillance camera and the other one utilizing DVA um, and what happened was it was monitoring a man walking across the camera in the bog standard cam the man walked along behind a tree and then it didn't see him anymore it showed a little box around a man and then it disappeared because as soon as the man went behind a tree branch it stopped being man shaped whereas the DVA version was able to tell even through the way the, guy, the, way the person was walking and how it interacted with something in the fore and the background that the man was still there and it still tracked him Another example was when they showed a man at a train station walking into the field of view, putting a bag down and then walking off and leaving the bag. The bulk standard camera saw him, that was it. It saw the bag, the bag wasn't moving, it ignored it, no alert. The smart system had been configured because you can add attributes and add rules based on that deep learning to identify that this man left a bag and then it alerted that the bag hadn't moved and it showed it on camera. Hopefully that's on screen. The third example they showed was the camera identifying that not only could it identify lots of people that were on screen, but on top of that, you could set it up that you didn't want it to notice people because if you've got a motion camera on a busy street, that's pointless. You had it set up that it identified a vehicle, in this case, a bike that came into the scene and then it identified a bike had entered onto the pavement area and then tracked it rather than not track any of the people. And that's what it was. That is deep video analytics. It knows and it has deep learning in, included in it to understand what it's looking at and tailor its alerts and notifications accordingly. And once again, this isn't just a live view. You could ask it to go through hours, days, weeks of archived footage from your recordings to search for a theme or a subject and it would do that. Now, the extent of which it will do it, we don't know at this time because we know so little about this unit. Nor do we know either if this is going to be a surveillance only product or one that's gonna have the ability to be used as a normal disk station NAS. We will find out more, but that has been the DS1419 DVA. Do check the links in the description to span.com and NAS compares, and do check out the following uh, videos after this for the new 8-bay and that new rack mount. See you then.